Okay, thank you. Okay, what I'd like to talk about is, I remember you said once, or maybe you said it many times, that your body is something that, huh? <laughs> it's something that responds very fast and very quickly. And so I'd like to... Your body is really reflective of your vibration. It's like the first component that has the ability to cooperate. Okay. So what I'd like to know is, is how to have my body conform to the image that I have for it. It is. <laughs> yeah. But it's doing exactly <laughs> that. Yeah. It's doing exactly that. But then... And not just your body, everything is doing exactly that. Okay. And I believe that. It's just, I don't understand then with my physical body. Like, you know, for example, by weight. So why is well, it that... Well, what that means is you're giving more attention to how it is than how you want it to be. Yeah. Which is sort of what most humans do about everything. What is really gets your attention. So you notice what is and you feel what is. And it's not easy to walk around in a body and not notice it because you take it nearly everywhere you go. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah, so, I don't know why I'm just, it's, it, you know, it's, it's touching. Uh, we like that everything confirms what you're vibrationally putting out because that means then as you get a look at it and you'd like it to be different, then you can hone it differently through your thoughts and through your conversations. But most don't. Most just keep talking about what is and regurgitating what is and then believing what is and then documenting what is and sometimes complaining about what is. But it's nice to know this. You really heard that. That's what that sort of release of resistance was about. You really heard that. Okay. Yeah. We want to give you something that will really help you. Okay. <laughs> Rather than thinking about the condition of your body in terms of appearance or in terms of size or in terms of anything that is more tangible for just a little while approach the subject of your body from the idea of vitality think in terms of vitality because vitality is closer to an emotional state of being than it is to a see it hear it smell it taste it touch it state of being and vitality you can accomplish in a day or two a restructuring of the way your body looks is not going to happen in a day or two, but vitality you can accomplish in a day or two because it's about alignment mostly. It's about energy flowing mostly. What do you mean by vitality? I don't understand. What we mean is the way you feel. In other words, when you sit down to eat, rather than eating for weight loss or weight gain or weight restructuring, eat for fuel or vitality say to yourself things like this food will fuel me this food will make me feel alive I will enjoy this food in other words something that you can more easily accomplish you can much more easily accomplish a feeling of vitality you know that feeling of vitality don't you yes that yes, feeling yes, of yes. waking up and feeling exhilarated or meaning to go somewhere and having a real interest to do it and feeling a real burst of speed to do it like it's not until I look in the mirror or see myself in, in a picture or, you know, I go shopping for clothes, which I never do, by the way, <laughs> because I'm amazed when I... And the reason that you feel resistance about that is because it causes you to activate within yourself an opinion that doesn't match your vibrational version. But you can circumvent that by reaching for the feeling of vitality in other words say something to yourself like i'm going to eat tonight and this food that i'm eating is not going to adjust my physicality in all of the ways that i might like but it is going to be pleasing to me 
It is going to taste good. It is going to be interesting to me. It is going to be satisfying to me. I am going to have a nice experience and it is going to induce vitality in my experience. And then as you're approaching the food, feel appreciation for it. Feel appreciation for those who have prepared it and those who have gathered it and those who have presented it and feel appreciation for how beautiful it is. In other words, let yourself discover a new relationship with every subject that you associate with your physicality. Okay. Yeah. 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 We have some questions for you. Great. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. These are path of least resistance question, which feels like the path of least resistance. I am clearly not where I want to be physically or my physical body is responding to my ever changing thought. I, I would go with the first one. <laughs> like that's the truth, right? I see what you're saying. Yeah. You would go with the second question, the second one. <laughs> well, it's nice to have this conversation because there is a part of you that feels like you should tell it like it is that that really is the right answer. But now you are reoriented to this idea of path of least resistance. What feels better? Listen. My physical body is responding to my changing thought. So which is the path of least resistance? I'm not good at this or I'm figuring this out. I'm figuring this out. These thoughts are difficult. They're becoming more easy. They're becoming more easy. My body is stubborn. My body is responsive. <laughs> it's I, uh, the, yeah. Which feels better. I have a stubborn body. For some reason, I have a responsive body. I have, I have a stubborn body. I have a, uh, it feels better to say the first thing, which it shouldn't. Well, maybe it feels better because that's telling it like it is. So stay there. So my body is stubborn. I like the idea of it becoming less stubborn. I like the idea of becoming less stubborn. My understanding of how this works is limited. My understanding of how this works is changing. Yes. My understanding is it's changing. It's changing. I have no sense of feeling emotional feeling. I'm a sensitive person. I'm a very sensitive person. I'm sensitive and therefore often troubled. My sensitivity indicates an active guidance system. My sensitivity indicates an active guidance system. An active guidance system is really annoying. <laughs> an active guidance system can be an effective tool. It can be my, yes, it, my, it can be an effective tool. Yeah. Understanding that my emotions are guiding me will make it easier for me to find a new approach. What I've been doing and what I'm now doing are not the same thing. I no longer expect the same old results that I used to get because I'm reoriented. I'm approaching all of this differently. Now I'm not the same person who I was even a week ago. I'm understanding things really clearly that I was not understanding before. This is going to be fun to watch my body's response to my newfound clarity. It's going to feel good to me to rediscover again and again, my newfound clarity. It's going to be pleasing to me to exercise my newfound clarity. I'm really going to enjoy my body's response to my newfound clarity. I really like the idea of translating from this vortex where I stand clear and strong and feeling good and looking good. I really like the idea of translating that vibrational version of me into a reality version of me. And now I understand that it's not only possible, but that it is extremely likely knowing what I now know. I feel like I have a new fire lit under me. I feel like I'm sort of new in my body and new in the universe. I feel different in my relationship to everyone and everything. I feel different even in my relationship to myself. My own body feels different than it did before. The cells of my body feel like they have more leeway and more latitude already. It feels like I have already released some of the binding that I was doing. 
I can almost feel them reveling in my new intentionality. As you sit to eat, what you will discover is in that state of alignment, the food will thrill you as you see it. You will actually find yourself having a vibrational relationship with the food that you eat. Your appreciation of it will be heightened and deepened. You will find yourself feeling a true relationship with the food that you are eating. You will begin to feel the appreciation and that really is the right word that your cells feel as you begin to ingest. Because as you ingest into your chemical factory in this newfound attitude of less resistance, there's more of an open communication between all of the parts of your body and your body will revel in all of that. You will find yourself making food your friend instead of your enemy. But more important, you will find yourself making your body your friend rather than your enemy. Instead of someone that you don't like, this is someone that you do like. Someone that you feel encouragement for and encouragement from, you see. You're going to begin to feel in your body as your inner being feels in your body. And your inner being is in your body. In fact, the very lack of vitality that you feel is because of the juxtaposition of the vitality that your inner being feels. In other words, if there were not resistance, you would never feel tired. And you are the only one who is introducing any resistance into the equation. You're following? Yes. So just be easy about this. You heard and felt everything that we said just now. You're right there with it. There was no resistance. We sensed no resistance in your receptivity of what we just said to you. No, I don't remember it all. Like it was a lot of information. <laughs> I'm going to have to get the, uh, get the tape. Doesn't off. matter yeah. because we weren't having a mental verbal conversation. We were having a vibrational inducing conversation. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. That's great.